This is ECOC TV at the Phoenix Photonics stand where I'm talking to Ian Giles who is the CEO. Ian, you've got a brand new product that you're showing here in Geneva. Tell us a bit more about it. Well, we are. We're very excited by this first product in our new range of Firebird instrumentation products that are based on our component technologies. We have progressed our product range from demand of customers who have used our components in many of their uh, applications, system applications on the bench. They find the components very good and they've been asking us for further support. So we're supporting them by um, putting the electronics, putting the PC control, microprocessor control into the unit. So they now just plug and play. It's very simple. And that's really one of the major benefits, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is the first of many, we hope, products of this sort we will, will offer the market. Now, I know that you are very much on, on the leading edge in this area, but away from Phoenix Photonics, you're also running a very important European Commission project called Mode Gap, which is addressing the future needs that all the exhibitors here are very interested in. So give us a little bit of, of, of background to Mode Gap. Well, Mode Gap is a European Union funded R&D project involving eight organisations uh, from around Europe experts in their own field brought together to address the capacity crunch that is going to be imminent in a few years. We're doing that by spatial division multiplexing techniques over multimode fibres. A lot of challenges, a lot of challenges in terms of system requirements, in terms of component requirements. We've been going for about a year now and we're very pleased um, at this conference to have a post deadline paper accepted. Um, so that will be presented on Wednesday. Um, which really shows the developments we've been able to make in the first year. So you think we are, we are on the way to this, what seems an incredible leap in the capacity requirements? Absolutely, absolutely. We're not the only group working on it throughout the world. Um, there, are, there are many groups that are addressing this problem and it is a real problem. Um, and it's quite exciting to be part of a major um, project within Europe that uh, is addressing that issue. Yeah. Of course, it's good to have a paper here, and the exhibition itself, I think, is an important part of your marketing. Absolutely. ECOC is quite valuable to us in terms of the marketing. We're, we're here every year. Um, we meet the customers face to face. We identify the problems they have now and the problems they're going to have in the future. So it, it's a very good forum for us, certainly, yes. Okay, well, thanks for speaking to us at ECOC TV. Okay, thank you, Brian.